Alright guys, we are back for another Doken video. Um, so, if you guys are free to play players, then there's some cards in the game that you definitely want to get right now on Global. Um, right now I'm speaking to Global players here, by the way. But I didn't make that clear. Um, so, first off, we've got this Goku, we've got a Broly, we've got a Frieza, and we've got a Vegeta, as well as now on uh, Global, we have the um, base form Gogeta. Now these cards, um, even if you are still fairly new to the game, let's say you've only been playing for a couple weeks, all right? So you've, you've been given enough stones where you can do some summons, you've got some pretty decent cards. So you can at least, at the very least, start this, uh, start this story event out and get one Goku, okay? You get one Goku, and you already have a 30% movie heroes uh, category lead. Um, so, not great, but it's not horrible either because you can just bring a AGL Gogeta uh, friend um, and just try to get as many cards that you have on your account already that are movie heroes. Surely in, in 2019 you have you know a couple at least. And the grind may be slow at first, but I promise you it won't be that bad. I've done it myself. Uh, on this free-to-play account, actually, the one I'm actually showing you uh, this event on. Um, so, I would honestly go for that Goku first. Y you don't necessarily need to, uh, you know, SA-10 and Awaken him, all that kind of stuff, right off the bat, but at least get him first so you can start farming. Now, I will say, if you want to take the time to go ahead and Awaken him and uh, get the leader skill a little bit better, by all means, Definitely do so if you think that you want to uh, want to, you know, go through that. It uh, gives you better um, leader skill for one. Obviously, obviously the passive is good as well. Um, the Vegeta has the exact same thing. So if you want to go for the Vegeta instead, you know, you can just kind of burst through these events here um, and get to the Vegeta one. Um, and then the Broly, the Broly is actually not bad. Uh, he doesn't have uh, an easy A. The only ones that have the easy A's are going to be the Goku, the Vegeta, and then the Gogeta. Um, they all take the same medals, so uh, what I did on mine was obviously Goku and Vegeta came out before, so my main, obviously I just did them and it was fine, but um, on this free-to-play that I just started not even 40 days ago, um, what I did was I got the Goku and the Vegeta done all at once and easy a them as far as I could get them to on, on the account. And then I'm going to have to go back again and do it again for Gogeta. So either way, you're going to have to run it twice for the easy A's. Um, those easy A's may be something for free-to-play players that may be later on down the road. But for right now, let's just focus on getting these cards on the event themselves. Um, definitely, definitely, definitely would get these units here for sure. Like, no question. I would get all of them. Uh, if you're able to, SA-10 them, open all paths, do what you got to do, and awaken them. Um, if you can't do that, if you just want to get the cards and get them even just awakened, by all means, um, it's your account. You do what you want to do. Um, I personally think that if you're going to get a free-to-play card that can drop, um, especially if you have a boost for the drop, I would always SA-10 them before I awaken them, at least. Uh, you don't have to open up all the paths if you really don't want to, but let's face it, it's going to make the card a lot better if you do. That being said, let's uh, let's go to the next one here. So one that I don't think is going to be very popular, but um, for free to play players, it's going to be very necessary. Is uh, this Ribrian one here? Now the card itself is actually not bad for free to play. Um, so uh, you're getting a Peppy Gals category key plus three HP attack and defense 77% as the card, just a base card before he uh, she even awakens. When she awakens, she's an even better leader. I want to say it's like 80-some percent, 88%, something along those lines. Um, so that's actually not bad for a free-to-play. And um, if you want to build up uh, your uh, training items, uh, you need Peppy Gals to do the, uh, the Roshi event. So, and that's daily. So this would be a great leader to use for that. Um, as well as, you need these medals anyways for a lot of the uh, Peppy Gals units. Um, as you can see here, all of these units a very good support card um, they all take the uh, Peppy Gals uh, awakening medals um, not to mention too in the future when global does get the awakening for the INT Ribrian card that's a summonable uh, unit she's going to take these uh, stage 4 here medals so if you want to go ahead and just farm those I would highly 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 recommend you do so because that card is off the charts good um, 
honestly, I don't really care for uh, Ribrian at all or, or anything of this sort, to be totally honest with you. But it's a very, very good unit, so therefore I would still farm the medals and whatnot at least. And definitely, definitely, definitely get this character awakened at least, this Ribrian here, for sure. Um, so what else we got here? So this Vegeta, or a copy of Vegeta, is not bad at all. Um, pretty decent unit. Um, another unit that is great, like you can at least farm the Super Saiyan 3 uh, Gotenks for other Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks units if you want, but in and of itself for a free to play unit it is not bad at all. Um, I would highly recommend you guys farm both of these as well as while they are out. Um, basically enough said with those. those these units are good um, you can use them uh, with a lot of ease okay what else we got here Let's see obviously I would always if you don't already have them I would definitely 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 uh, farm the Gigi Force team obviously there's one every day uh, today is strength so it's going to be the Jace these cards are 100% free to play. The orb system, everything. You don't even have to use your own orbs for this. They, it, the event has the orbs drop with it. It's a special orb system for these units. So, by all means, do it. It only takes an hour, maybe two, to get your character rainbowed and awakened. Um, it's really not hard at all. I'm gonna be totally honest with you. It's not hard at all to do. Now, this unit here for a free to play player. Um, this unit is actually this. Um, Raditz here, I, for whatever reason had a brain fart there. Uh, this Raditz here uh, definitely is going to be useful in World Tournament for free to play players because it is an AoE card. Um, the best way to use him um, obviously is going to be, I would personally I would go with a movie boss leader if you have him. Uh, the Churlist that was just out is very very useful or you could use the uh, Fizz, um, Broly, sorry, I'm like having horrible memory issues right now, but uh, yeah, if you have those units, you know, you probably don't need this card, but if you do, great, um, but with with the Trunks and some also banners just being out and being out for so long, and they're still out even as of me recording this, um, surely free-to-play players who have farm stones have been doing someone's on those banners, so surely you have something movie boss related. Um, if you don't, you know, you can just do an extreme leader, put him on there. He has an AoE, so as long as you know you stay in the lower tiers of World Tournament, um, you should be fine. This uh, unit doesn't hit really hard, but he attacks all, so that is very useful. Also, he is a low-class Warriors category leader. Um, there's not a whole lot of great cards in that category, so that's something to think about, I guess. I, I don't think I'd go for him first out of all these. For sure, I would definitely focus on the Broly event first, followed by the Ribrian one. Um, what else do we got here? So, here's another one that's actually not bad at all. Uh, the uh, Tarbol card, not so much, honestly. It's okay. It's different just because we don't have too many of him, or actually any of them at all, I don't think. I think it's the only, only unit uh, with him that we have. But this Gotenks, it's a base form Gotenks, so you can use it to awaken any other base form Gotenks in the game. You'll get a 50% um, chance to get a Ray Super Attack with him. But also, he's not bad for free to play at all. Like, he's, he's really, really not. Um, like I said, the, the Tarble is a AGL leader, I believe. AGL, Key 3, something along those lines. I don't actually, I haven't even farmed this unit yet on this account, but uh, before I would do so, I would definitely do the Gotenks first. Um, and this event gets a boost from Fusion, so if you already have your base form Gogeta done, then you have your Fusion Leader. Um, and if you have in the past farmed other free to play units, chances are you have from the Halloween event the Ghost Tanks, um, which is another very good free to play Fusion card. Moving on, we have the Future Trunks Saga. Now this card, the only thing that stinks about this Trunks unit that you can uh, farm here is the fact that he has the same name, Super Saiyan Trunks Future, as a lot of Super Saiyan Trunks cards. 
So even though he's got this false god like type thing going on with him um, in the show, you know, he had that blue aura around him as well as like the Super Saiyan aura too. So everyone thought it was like a false god or a different form. He's got the same name as like say like this EZA Trunks right here, for instance. Obviously, you're not going to use this free to play Trunks over the EZA one if you have the EZA one. Um, if you don't though, then this is a great card to use. He actually is a very good unit. I was very very pleased when this card first came out um, using him he was a uh, very good unit uh, one of actually one of the first free-to-play cards that I rainbowed um, I'm a major trunks fan so I had to do so <laughs> there was just no way I wasn't going to do it um, that scene in super was amazing so I, I had to I, I just had to there was no way I was gonna pass that up uh, but I would definitely 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 uh, awaken him um, so I also have this uh, fight against despair event here it's the future gohan and trunks uh story and so right now as of right now in global this future gohan does not have an awakening but he will get an awakening and he will be very good for a free-to-play unit so if you want to get him to sa10 and get another four units uh, just keep you can just keep him at sr and just lock them up and just have them ready to open all the paths um that would be very smart actually uh, the card is very very good and now this trunks this trunks youth future um, if you're free to play you could possibly farm one to sa10 and keep it in trunks youth future form it's only gonna be SSR but um, it's not horrible it's, it's it's usable for like free to play things but any any Doki event or anything like that you definitely don't want to use this unit uh, but when you awaken him he's actually not bad and not only does he have an awakening but he has a Doken, a transcendent Doken awakening past that even, so he's a very decent unit for a free-to-play card. Um, very, very, very usable. Um, if you have a future team and you don't have a Super Saiyan future trunks, uh, I think I would use this one after he you do the transcendent Doken awakening here. I would use him over the strength one from the previous uh, story event that we just covered. Uh, but either way, you're going to have a good trunks unit that's free-to-play from this one or the strength one um, but like I said I think I would pick this one over that one if I was gonna put him on a future team the problem is if you're having a free-to-play future team you probably have the LR free-to-play trunks which has the same name as well um, in that case you're not going to use that unit unfortunately that's the problem that we're having right now that I'm seeing with these trunks units is they all have the same name there's a lot of free-to-play trunks units and they all have the same name, so you can't use them together. And it's, it's as a Trunks fan, it's very frustrating because I like all these units, but I can't play them all together. What's well, just not cool, man? Come on, Bandai. All right, so this Tree of Might event. What can I say about this? This was the way that back in the day we farmed Super Attack for the I and T Turles. Uh, nowadays, honestly. It's not worth doing for awakening these cards, in my opinion. If you're going to do it, you're going to do it just to get the Fruit of Tree of Might items. Or possibly awaken this Turles if you have this Turles. Otherwise, I don't think, like like, like I said, you can get these uh, Fruit of the Tree of Might items as well as Icarus items. Now, now, obviously, I would farm those if you need them. Otherwise, I would probably just skip this event altogether. Um, you only get stones for so many of the events, or for the uh, levels here. Let me see which one is it. Should say somewhere through here. Let me find it. Yeah, so you get one dragon stone will be rewarded for clearing the following stages on each difficulty. Ten stones uh, are available in total. So stage three, seven, ten, and eleven, and that's it. The other ones you don't get stones for. So if you want to do it just to get the stones, by all means, go for it. You're free to play, so you're going to want to get the stones. Other than that, I think I'd skip it unless you need the Icarus items or the Fruit of the Tree of Might uh, items. Which, the Fruit uh, from the Tree of Might items will be very, very useful for the upcoming World Tournament. Real quick, another thing I want to say, since we're talking about items, is if we go back to this fight uh, against Despair story... Now this is a very good um, event for items. I, I totally forgot to mention this, but it is 100% a very good event for items as well as any too. So and and uh, training uh, places as well. So we have you can get gravity chambers. Uh, you can also get Hercule statues, as well as um, probably one of the better items to use in the game, the Android Eights. 
uh, heals you 70% and then you get a 50% damage or uh, defense boost for two turns, which is great. Um, you get Icarus from this as well. And you get the uh, Bulmoses from this as well, which is like 70% uh, um, HP recovery. And I want to say it's like, what is it, like 35 or a 30% uh, attack boost for one turn or two turns, something like that. I forget exactly what it is, but either way, these are both very good items to use. Nowadays, nobody uses uh, Senzu Beans anymore. You gotta use items like these that give you not quite 100% increased uh, or regen, but like 70% as like these ones are, but they also give you some sort of defense or offensive boost. You definitely want to use those over, you know, your standard Senzu Beans. Um, but yeah, you can make money off of this one. Uh, you can get your uh, training areas, and you can get some pretty good items as well, support items. So, definitely not only for the cards to farm, but also very, very good for the items. Now, this is another one of those ones where it only has specific stages give you the stones. So, only stage 1, 3, what is it, 6, 9, 10, and 12. So, not every stone, but you get, I uh, should tell you total how many stones you get. Oh, here it is. So the Bulma recovers 70% HP and attack plus 25% for two turns. And then the Android 8, 70%, and all eyes defense plus 50% for two turns. That Android 8 is very, very, very useful. One of the cards, like, or one of the items that I would 100% you say, uh, say you should bring if you're going to do the Legendary Goku event, for instance, uh, definitely bring the Android 8 for sure. But, with that being said, one of the last uh, story events that are out right now, um, that's a limited time deal, is going to be this Battle of Gods event. Now, you can awaken this Goku here. It's not great, to be totally honest with you, but um, that starts out as this the white hot face off Super Saiyan Goku that you get from summons. And you awake, can awaken into this uh, Super Saiyan God Goku here. And then that goes from there, you can awaken it again to this Super Saiyan God Goku. Um, but like I said, it's really not that great. Unless you just have, you know, 10 of those white hot face off Gokus sitting around, you know, you want to SA 10 it and awaken it, and then you do the, the transcended uh, UR, sure, go for it. Um, but I, it's, it's really not something I would like, you know, go after, unless you just happen to have it. Um, that Whis isn't bad to awaken if you pull him by chance. He's a uh, pretty good passive. Uh, key plus two, attack and defense, 20% for all allies. Pretty good passive. Anyways, the free-to-play unit that you can actually get from this event is this Goku that awakens into the Super Saiyan Goku. Um, he's not that great, to be totally honest with you. He's not. But he is a Goku's family card. And going to my next point here is there is going to be the, uh, the legendary uh, event for the... Kind of like there is for... Right now for the Trunks. We've got this uh, prime battle, I guess is what you call it, for the trunks right now going on. So that's going to be happening for the uh, LR INT Vegeta here pretty soon, within the next like four days, I believe, something like that, as of when I'm recording this, I want to say. But anyways, that Vegeta's uh, boost that you get for um, doing it is going to be Goku's family. So Goku's family free to play cards is what you want. So with that being said, you may want to go ahead and get this card just because you need free to play units for it. And if you haven't started getting those free to play units yet, this is one of those Goku's family cards you can get right now. Other than that, other ones that you can get that are Goku's family, you can get the Gohan from this event. Um, he's only going to be SSR, like I said, but if you just SA-10 him and keep him where you can for now, and once he does get his awakening, he'll be much better. But as of right now, I'd at least get him to SA-10. It's very easy to do. The drop rate is crazy high if you have a future team. Like, you'll get a, you'll probably get him to SA-10 in like three runs if you have a decent future team. <sighs> what else? Goku's family cards. Goku's family cards. Raditz, obviously. Goku's family. And the Goku from this event, you definitely want to get this Goku. Definitely, definitely want to get that Goku. And as of right now, those are the only Goku family cards. So those are the only ones you're going to get that's going to give you a boost right now for the Prime Battle Vegeta. That, again, is coming in, in like four days, I believe. Let's see if we go back to the news and see what it says here. I want to say it's right here. 
Yes, right here. Legendary challenge campaign coming soon. So this is going to be the Prime Battle Vegeta. It's actually a very good unit. I like this unit a lot. The art is absolutely amazing for this card. One of my favorite arts in the game, and it just happens to be a free-to-play unit. Nuts. And that's crazy what uh, Doken is doing. But, yeah, it'll be 12-8 at 15-59 Pacific Time. But, with that being said, guys, that's what's out right now as far as free-to-play units go. Um, like I said, the first one I would totally go for would be the Broly Story event followed by the Ribrian one. Um, after that, it's, it's pretty much, there's nothing that you absolutely need, but there's stuff that I would definitely pick up, like I said, but, like, even though I don't like, oh, I do not like this card at all, the art, like, it just, I just think this character in you know, as whole, like, it's just bad, but that's just me. That's just my opinion. It doesn't really matter in, in the scheme of things. Um, the unit itself, the leader skill, very, very useful. Um, these medals are going to be definitely needed once the INT Ribrian card uh, gets the Awakening, the TUR, um, on uh, Global. So, I would at the very least awaken this free to play one and get enough medals to awaken the INT one. Even if you don't have it, it's a summonable unit. It's going to be available basically on every summon, unless it's like, you know, unless you're doing one of those uh, category, or not category, the uh, the type summons. Like if it's just like all tech cards or something like that, obviously you're not going to get it. But other than that, I'm pretty sure it's in every single, like, loot pool basically to, to summon. So with that being said, I would definitely do it. And that's about all. That's about all we have to cover, to be totally honest with you. There's nothing else really to talk about as far as free-to-play goes. Um, there's a lot of stuff to do right now. Um, obviously, there's the new Kaioken Goku coming out. That's going to be absolutely amazing. There's a lot of awakenings for those as well, for cards that have just been basically crap until now. But I'll probably make another video about that in the future. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this kind of content. If you did, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already done so and hit the bell for the notifications so YouTube knows that you want to stay up to date with my latest content. With that being said guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been TWillows26 and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.